Hi guys, Alex here from Drayton's. Here we've got a mini hatch 1.5 Cooper, finished in deep blue metallic paint. All the wheels and tyres are in very good condition. These are 17 inch Cosmos alloy wheels in black. These are a nice little extra from new. This car does have over seven and a half thousand pounds worth of extras on it. Um, so it's a really high spec car. At the back it is a mini so you don't get the, the biggest boot in the world. Um, but the boot floor will drop down if you need any extra space. And the back seats will also go down if you need extra space in there as well. This car has got MOT until the 20th of the 5th, 2022 and was last serviced on the 22nd of the 6th, 2021. Interior, um, this is slightly different interior to what you get as standard, so you've got grey cloth in the centre with the leather um, on the sides. Um, these are also sports seats which are part of the chilli pack. Um, which this car does have, um, so you've got four seats, uh, they're all very very similar with the cloth and the leather. Um, another part of the chili pack is you also get this um, sports steering wheel with the multifunction controls on it. You also get cruise control and speed limiter on the left hand side here and these are your multifunction controls for the system. So up front um, the rev counter and speedo are attached to the steering wheel. Um, which I personally really like, um, which looks looks cool and it's really easy to read. Um, you've also got a digital speed on the centre, but you can change that um, to different things. So you've got date and time, uh, fuel range, um, oil temperature, average speed, average consumption, things like that. And you change that just by pressing the end of the stalk where it says BC there. Uh, so that's cycle through that. So on the screen we have um, the satnav system. Uh, this does have the media pack XL, which is is part of the chili pack and um, so you get a bigger satin uh, screen it fills the screen a bit more it's in really good quality as well and you've got different views you can use um, on here as well so you can change the uh, perspective and things like that this is perspective view so it follows you rather than uh, just facing one direction very easy to read and very easy to program as well um, so this is the main menu um, it's nice and quirky it's not really um, I don't want to say it's not grown up but it's um, quite cartoony compared to a lot of cars but it's a mini so I mean you don't buy a mini to uh, to drive around and be serious in it really it's a fun car it's great to drive and it's got a lot of character as well so that was the sat nav so on the settings you've got um, different lights as well um, so you've got standard view which is ambient lighting at the minute um, it is actually a nice purple um, which you should be able to see in the camera you also got it in the doors and up here as well and you change the color of the lighting just by pressing this button here so that will change on here as well you've got i think about nine or ten different colors you can scroll through um, and then you've also got different things like engine speed so um, when your engine's revving higher the bar will go higher uh, driving mode if you're in sport mode it goes red if you're in green mode it's green um, or you can have event view which you can have as well actually um, so engine start stop this will flash up and uh, when you change the climate, it'll scroll up as well, uh, as you can see there. Um, so it's getting hotter and cooler, uh, red and blue. And then you've also got um, sound you can have, um, various loads of different things, um, just to really personalise it. Um, and the coloured ambient lighting is um, a standard feature as well, which I really, really like. Um, I just think ambient, ambient lighting just brings another dimension to the car's interior, really. Um, so you're not always looking at the same thing, you can change it up. Uh, you've got your vehicle information on there as well, mini connected and office as well. And you've got Bluetooth for phone and music. Um, fairly self-explanatory. And then multimedia is your um, phone uh, by Bluetooth, AUX, USB, or there is a snapping adapter as well, which is just in here. Um, which, if your phone will fit, mine personally doesn't, um, then you can put your phone in there and it will connect through there. That is also part of the media pack. And then you've got DAB and FM AM radio as well. Uh, moving down, you've got uh, radio shortcuts here uh, with various different things. So as you can see, that came up there. Uh, so you've got different, you can put numbers and radio stations on those buttons as well. We have two zone climate control. So you've got passenger and a driver as well. And then you change the direction just by pressing the bottom button here. You can have all up, forwards, and floor as well. 
Um, we've got heated seats, which is another nice extra from new. Um, a lot of minis don't actually come with heated front seats, uh, so it's nice to actually have those in here. You've got your start stop with these sort of jet fighter style switches. Um, on the previous generations of the BMW Mini, the um, window switches were here as well on these two bits here, um, but they did change that just to make it a bit easier. Um, I personally absolutely loved having the window switches here and in my car I often still reach for that and forget that it's not there because I've got this generation but um, yeah it's nice to have those um, so you your start stop there will light up when it's on um, your engine start button again kind of like a fighter jet you don't have a key or um, a push in like you used to do just uh, press the button and it'll come on and you've got your stability control as well got more ambient lighting down here with a USB and an aux and a 12 volt in there as well couple of cup holders and six speed manual gearbox the mini gearbox is very very nice um, it's nice and quick direct and sharp um, it's really easy to throw into gear whichever gear you want um, it will go in it's not too long of a throw either with it being a sporty car even on this um, normal Cooper version um, it's still a, a nice throw it's not not um, a long long gear kit gear change down here we got um, the PS de resistance We've got the sport setting and the green setting. Uh, so when you switch it to green, um, you've got low consumption driving. Um, that is normal, and then sport mode. Um, so you get a louder exhaust tone, quicker throttle response, heavier steering, um, just all in all um, a better better sporty feeling. And it does really change the dynamic of the car from, from quite a comfortable um, like city car to quite a quick sports car even in this 1.5 version it's still fairly rapid because purely because of the the size it's small and also all the wheels are on the corners and that might sound strange but there's no overhang really so when you turn in a corner it turns the corner as you want it to um, which is why people say it feels like a go-kart um, down here we've got your controls for the infotainment system so you've got all your shortcuts here and then you've got your scroller and this has also got a touchpad as well um, so when you're on things like uh, the lighting menu or things like that, um, you can left, right, up and down, and it will change on there as well, but you do have a scroller for the main menu on here. As I mentioned, you do have a snapping adapter um, on this model that's part of the media pack as well, um, so you can connect the phone to there as well. Uh, we do have a panoramic roof, which is another extra from new set as a control there, another flight style switch as they all are up here. Um, so it's a pan roof front and back um, you've just got this centre bar um, for a bit of structural rigidity um, but you do get the pan roof so you've got a manual blind and then you've got the electric um, open for the sunroof which is very very nice to have so yeah it's a very very nice car um, I love minis I think they're great fun to drive um, and they are they are pretty quick to be fair um, as I said even in this 1.5 version but if you're looking for fun factor and sort of quirkiness you've still got that even though it's a lot bigger than the original and everything's more upgraded you've still got that feeling that it is a mini when you're driving it um, another thing I do like is the piano black finish on the inside as well looks really nice and we also have as well as the cruise control and speed limiter we have automatic lights and electric wing mirrors as well. It is a really, really nice car. As I mentioned, drives lovely. Um, and it, I do really like the look of them as well. If you're looking for something fun, get a Mini. It will come with six months gold cover warranty, which can be extended for as little as £199 for an extra six months. We also have a range of finance options available, so if finance is something you're looking for, then we can help you out with that as well. If you need any more information on this car or any of the cars we have in stock, please go to drayton.co.uk. Thank you.